morning YouTube how's it going this is your homeboy Seth Donna Ford and I'm gonna say something a lot of people a lot of people they get mad when I wear my hat like this they get mad when I wear my hat off to the side however I wear it I really don't give a shit Because, to me, it's a style. To me, it, you know, it's a style that people wear. It doesn't make you look resentable. No, it don't. But, I wear my hat however the fuck I want to wear it. I mean, I don't care what people say. Whatever, you know, I wear it normal. You know, if I'm out in a nice restaurant, I will wear it normal. I will wear it forward. Because, but when it comes to being outside of a nice restaurant or wherever, I I wear it like this. Even when I go in the stores. Excuse me. Uh, even when I go in the stores, I wear it like this. People just give me the, the meanest look like. Why well, you're wearing your hat backwards? That ain't how you're supposed to wear a hat, right? That, 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 that ain't how you're supposed to wear a hat. And it snarl at me. And I'm like, you know what? I mean, I really don't care. You know, it's the style. You know, everybody says, well, if you wear a hat backwards, that means you're gay. That don't mean you're gay. I looked on the internet. I looked, on, I googled it. And somebody said that, oh, you, you wear your hat backwards, that means you're gay. So, I wanted to find out, you know, for sure. You know, if it's true or not. So, I googled it. Make sure, you know, if you wear your hat backwards, it's saying that you're gay. And, and never said none of that. It's just, a lot of people hate it. Because I don't wear my hat the right way. And they say, oh, that's unprofessionalism. I'm like, who cares about freaking professionalism? You know, it's like we're not going in here in a suit and tie, you know. I said, if you want to be professionalism, then why don't we start wearing suits and ties, you know, around here and do our work that way. I said, if you want to act like professionalism. Yeah, I'm just a little... I'm just a little ticked off with this place where I work at. You know, I'm not happy anymore. I said, I'm I'm about done with it. And yesterday, toward after lunch, I mean, I about almost walked out. I mean, I was so infuriated and everything. I about almost said I had enough. I need to go home. And... But I didn't. And which I talked to a friend last night on on Facebook. You know, an old buddy of mine. I called him up. We talked about it. And I'm going to say, hey, man, you got a minute? And, you know, I want somebody to vent to for a little bit. Somebody to talk to about my problem. It's just I don't know what to do. You know, what is your solution to it? You know, if you ain't happy in a in a job, but what should you do? And it's just that I'm about done. And I don't know how much longer I can take of it. And I don't know if it's just something else telling me, you know, saying it's done, I'm done, or if it's just that I'm just pissed off right now. Saying that I'm done, um, it could just be that, but maybe it's just my heart telling me that I have nothing here no more. You know, well, why do I need to stay at a workplace where I'm not going anywhere um, with the job? And it, it just sucks. And it's like, I want to move up. And it's like, I feel like they're not letting me move up because... Of my learning ability. And yeah I am slow. 
you know, I will admit I am slow. I don't have the smarts. And but I am a good learner. I, I learn quick. But yeah, there are some things I don't comprehend. And I was that way in school. You know, everybody's that way in school. But it's just the fact that I'm too pissed off right now. And usually I never get this mad. And I just don't know what to do anymore about it. And it's just that it just sucks ass. And it's like, I hate to do the alternative. Um, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to talk to the big two big bosses today. Hopefully that hopefully that goes well. Um, and let's get everything off my chest. Tell them how I feel. And if that don't help, then if they don't really want me to be around anymore, then I'll start looking online. I ain't going to walk out or nothing, but I'll just start looking online for another job. Um, only reason why I keep this job because it's off on the weekends and, and that it's closer to home and I don't have a far commute to drive. And I said, that's the only reason why I keep the job. And they all know that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to Nate, talk to my boss today and see where it goes, see how it happens and, and if nothing doesn't happen, then if they don't start making a change with me where I can do something different, learn something different in another department or whatever. And I said, if I don't get to do something different, I may just tell them, well, I don't know how much longer I'm going to last here. Because I have nothing holding me here now. And. And it's like. I just don't know what else to do. And. I'm going to all you guys. For support. You know. On what I should do. Um, if you all are true. True followers. You know. Leave a comment in the comment section. Um, but yeah. It's just. I don't know what else to do anymore. Uh, I'm just done. And it's like I'm tired. You know, I'm tired of coming home fatigued all the time um, from my job. Um, tired of hurting places that all the time and that I normally never hurt. And so it's like I'm coming up with new new areas that I'm hurting on and uh, yeah I'm tired this morning but um like last night my right shoulder was kind of bothering me a little bit and I do a lot of pulling and stuff and so I didn't really train last night um I wish I would have because it probably would have put me in a better mood and got my mind off of it last night but usually when I get pissed off usually I, I don't focus very well on my training because um, all it does is it makes me do more it makes me do more of an hour and I don't really want to push myself further than an hour because when I when I get mad it's like I just want to keep going and I don't want to stop and, and that's really another way of tearing the body up and I'm not really wanting to tear my body up as more as it is already tore up because of all the surgeries I've had on it and everything else. But it's like I said, I'm just to the point where I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm going to talk to the bosses today and make sure the big wiggies, the president's not there today. I am going to do that. Um, if he's not there today, then I will go in there and talk to them. Because when the president's here of the company, I don't really want to talk to nobody about my problems. So, um, I addressed my problems once to the president, and he looked at me and said, you just got to learn to deal with it. And 
I ain't no way to talk to your employee. You know, what you need to do is, you know, you know, help your employee out where, you know, your employer will stay, you know, not make them want to go. And to me, that's not how a company should be run. And it's like at the last meeting that he had, he said in front of all of us that he didn't give two shits face about us if all of us walked out at once. And when me and a buddy of mine were talking about it the other day, and I said that's when everybody should just grab their stuff and just walked on out the door. So I don't know. Where this factor is going to lead in another five years, or if I'm even going to be here in another five five years, I don't know yet. This is a little rant video. I'm tired of holding it in and just getting it off my chest. Peace.